This is a week in my life. Welcome. Bad, bad, bad. Okay, it's getting everywhere. Oh God, it's bad. My toxic trait is thinking I have enough time to do all the things I want to do. And there are so many things I need to do. My car needs service. This one needs braces. And this one, well, this one's perfect. After the school runs, I have time for a quick Peloton workout and which I'm mostly dancing. Then it's Monday meeting marathon. First with our team of wonderful humans talking about the videos we wanna shoot and the blogs we wanna write. Then a fun meeting reimagining our game family showdown. Stay tuned for that. These conversations are exciting, but they take time. And I still need to write scripts for videos we'll shoot tomorrow. I make a quick trip to Target and discover Gasp. It is under construction. It sparks an idea for a song that we'll shoot tomorrow, probably. Also, am I the only one that looks horrifying in self-checkout cameras? What's up with that? Welcome to Tuesday. I had some drama. Penn was working on composing music. That was not the drama. We recorded our podcast. Also, not the drama. That's actually my favorite part of what we do. I not know instantly what it was, but oh my gosh, we do th this happens to us more often now than it used to, doesn't it? And I don't want to complain because if you're listening to this, um, thank you, by the way, yes, but you're you going through this too, but we are firmly in may -cember. Here's the drama. I went to get a spray tan because we have a TV appearance this week. It's very intimidating. Look, you have to do these dance moves. It was a disaster. So funny story. I was so worried about like the dance moves that are involved in spray tanning that I forgot to put in the, the, the they give you like a shower cap to protect your hair. And I didn't put it on because I forgot. And then I came out to the cute little girl at the counter and I said, hey, so I forgot to put in the shower cap of the spray tan. And she goes, oh. <gasps> What's going to happen to my hair, you guys? I screwed up. Hey, Penn. Penn? Penn is not here. I think he went to go get lunch or something. So it's super weird that he's not here because we're always here and we don't go anywhere. But I went into Instagram stories and I asked, hey, what should I do? Hey, 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 ha, ha, ha. This, you know, what do I do? And everybody was like, you have to wash it out right now. It's gonna like do weird things to your scalp and it's gonna like mess up the color of your hair. So um, I am gonna attempt to wash my hair in the kitchen sink. Like I'm gonna lay across the counter and just try to wash my hair in the kitchen sink. Okay, here we go. Have you see me on Good Morning America looking like an alien? I should wrap this around me like I'm in a salon. Where's my husband? He like literally never leaves the house. are killing me. Pretty day. Bad, bad, bad. Okay, it's getting everywhere. Oh God, it's bad. Okay, we have to go shoot some videos. So I dried my hair. Um, not for nothing. It looks really good. So spray tan hair don't care. I mean, my face is gonna look like a 1980s splatter paint t-shirt, but my hair. As it turns out, as with most things in life, it was fine. Time to say goodbye to my sweet girl and fly to New York City for an appearance on Good Morning America. We lived here when Lola was born and it's one of my favorite places on the planet. So naturally, the first thing we do when we check into the hotel is go to the gym. We quickly realized Penn is too big for this place and we head to Central Park. He tried to blend in by doing things like yoga and handstands. We did not blend in. And then it was time to eat. We're having dinner and it's 5.45 and we're almost done. So we've got an early morning and we're open. It was such an early wake up call that coffee shops weren't even open. But I'm married to a very smart man who bought coffee the night before. It was cold, but it was coffee and it worked. 90 minutes plus hair and makeup team and I was ready to go. That's so much better. On to Good Morning America, where Penn and I faced off for a slider showdown. I'm very competitive, so I'm dealing with my loss. But King's Hawaiian is awesome, and they're donating $25,000 to each of our charities. So it definitely helps. I wanted to have somewhere to go because my hair and makeup were amazing. But we had to get back to the kiddos and then go to bed. It's Friday. This day was full of video shoots. It was very busy. All right, take one. I never got around to making any of those appointments or getting my car serviced, but there's always next week, right? Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, should we hang out again next week? What do you think? 
I'm going to come along, hang out with me, keep me company. Bye. Check out our merch. Check out our book. Check out our blog. It's at theholdernessfamily.com.